Right, hey, Teliete here, champs. Now, today I'm going to talk about the best upgrade for your Mac Studio. What are the best upgrades to do? And I'm actually going to show you how you can save potentially thousands of dollars on upgrading these Macs. You can certainly apply this to the MacBook Pros as well. So, if you're going to buy a Mac Studio and you're going to get the M1 Max version, it comes with actually 32 gigs RAM, which is actually not that bad. Now, of course, you can upgrade the RAM, GPU, or storage. However, these base model M1 Max Mac Studios, they are very performant so I would still go the RAM upgrade on the M1 Max. So I upgrade that to 64 gigs. The second upgrade I would do would be the GPU. And again, depending on what you do, you know, for video editors, the encoders do most of the hard work. So upgrading the GPU probably won't benefit you, but if you're into 3D modeling, I know, visual effects and stuff like that, maybe you want to go to GPU first. But when it comes to the M1 Ultra version of the Mac Studio, it's the other way around for me, because they start at 64 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is more than enough. Even though when you start spending this sort of money, you might as well upgrade everything, but your budget is your budget, right? And certainly with the M1 Ultra version of the Mac Studio, I'll definitely upgrade the GPU first. Then I would upgrade the RAM. Now you'll notice on both of them, I never said upgrade the storage because Wolf, I have this thing here. And this is where you can save potentially thousands of dollars on these configurations for these Mac Studios. So yes, you could stick with the 512 or one terabyte of storage. But I do want to make it clear first that if you want the 7,000 megabytes per second write that Apple advertise with these products, you do need the four terabyte model or better for storage to get the 7,000 megabytes write speeds. Now here's the deal. I was getting over 5,000 megabytes per second with the one terabyte model. That is super fast. 5,000 megabytes per second is not going to be a bottleneck. Your storage is not going to be a bottleneck whether you get the 512 gig or the one terabyte. So if you buy this product, which is the OCZ Express 4M2 external storage solution. So it's basically a Thunderbolt device it's Thunderbolt 3 which Thunderbolt 3 and 4 there's no difference in speed and I've actually had this for a while but I think it makes more sense with a desktop even though you can use it for your laptop if you're always going to a desk and docking this will be perfect for a laptop as well but essentially this DAS this external storage enclosure can fit four M.2 drives so if you're thinking of you know configuring to eight terabytes with your Mac Studio you can save thousands of dollars right it's going to be much cheaper to do it on this and did you know that four terabyte models and over with the Mac Studios, you actually have two SSDs in RAID 0, which we used to call death RAID, right? There's a higher chance that that can fail. So this should be safer storage, right? Because you can actually RAID these SSDs any way you want. So any just M.2 SSD you can put in here. If we have a look on the back, we actually have two Thunderbolts, so you can connect two devices there. They're actually OWC click on ready, so that means you can stabilize the cables so they won't come out. You also have DisplayPort 1.2 on the back as well so you can connect this to an external monitor once you connect it via Thunderbolt to your computer. Now you can get up to speeds of 2800 megabytes per second which is super fast for external storage so at that speed that storage is not going to be a bottleneck either and you can actually edit straight off the NAS no problems. I tested those speeds out but I will say do not get SSDs with faster read and write speeds of 2800 because you're just wasting your money right. Basically any PCI Express 3 SSD actually OWC may some that's the one i tested in there of course they're compatible with this no problems i also tested a crucial that worked no problems as well i'll leave a link in the description to this product and the ssds so anyway this thing can save you thousands of dollars on your configuration maybe now you can save on storage buy one of these upgrade the storage as you need it the peace of mind of being able to raid it to be safe and it's a highly recommended device great for you know any of your macs that have thunderbolt and you can use it for pc as well if you have thunderbolt the bolt as well the only thing i would say is maybe it could be space gray or something so it you know goes with your mac setup there because it is black it's built well enough sort of doesn't fit in the mac aesthetic there but anyway it does what it says on the tin and it works well catch you in the next one guys tally ho